Hello. Hi to everyone joining in. Thank you so much. Um, today we are going to do a loving kindness meditation. So I'll start by um, just kind of sharing that in life, in specific circumstances or in decision making, um, or in most things that we do, I personally see uh, two guiding paths which we can take. One of those is um, external forces and one of those um, are internal forces. And external meaning our set of circumstances, our environment, uh, the voices of others. So that could be voices of loved ones or voices from media platforms, anyone else outside of you. Uh, and then of course there's internal guiding forces, um, which basically comes down to your thoughts, emotions, your intuition, that gut feeling, anything that resides within you. Um, and in yoga, there is a principle that um, states that essentially we are purely love and joy um, and kindness. And whenever we find ourselves in places of frustration or um, anxiety or anger or any other emotion that comes up, that is essentially a response or reaction to external guiding forces that are distracting us from being who we are at the pure essence of our being. So the loving kindness meditation, um, to me at least, is a practice, an active practice of getting back to that core true self where we are purely love and joy and kindness. So I want to start by sharing um, some science behind the practice and uh, as always, if you are interested in any of the articles or sources where this um, originates from, please just send me a message. I'll be happy to pass those along to you. So um, essentially the breakdown of this meditation is it's so effective because it links emotions, actions, and thoughts. So um, when we go through it in a bit, you'll see how that those things kind of work um, all together to to uh, create this complete meditation process. Um, and then some scientific benefits, uh, the reduce of stress, reduce of physical inflammation, increases daily positive emotions, including joy, gratitude, interest, hope, and awe, and of course love. Um, increased self-acceptance and positive impact on your relationship with others. And then when practicing loving kindness meditation, the part of the brain that is responsible for empathy, as well as the part of the brain that is responsible for processing empathy. So those are two different parts of the brain. One is empathy and one is the way that we process that empathy. Um, both of those light up and activate during this meditation. So let's begin. Um, we're going to start with some subtle, mindful, easy movement um, that's reflective of loving ourselves and sending that love out to others. So if you have a meditation cushion, um, or a pillow or something you want to prop your hips up on, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Um, also, you know, for the meditation portion, um, there is no need to, there's no perfect meditation seat. Yes, often you see people sitting in the cross-legged position with their hands on their knees, and that is uh, one of the preferred ways to sit. But if that's not comfortable for you and you just want to sit with your back against a couch, or even if you want to lie down, if that's the most comfortable position for you, just make sure your heart's a little lifted, your head's elevated. Um, and the most important thing really, especially if you're just beginning to meditate, is to be alert and upright as much as possible, but really be comfortable so you can be still in your body um, and therefore 
um, be able to deeper dive into the practice. You don't want to be thinking and fidgeting about your seat the whole time. So no worries if you can't sit up like this yet, you'll get there. So we'll start in a supported hero's pose. So you can sit on the cushion or if you want to sit on your heels or your shins. Beautiful. And then just take a moment here, close your eyes. Allow yourself to settle into your space, into your body, into your breath, and into this part of your day. Allow any thoughts of the day to slowly melt away from the mind and all of the muscles of the body to melt away from the bones. Breathing here, easy, relaxed, exactly where you are. Taking a deep inhale, filling the body with breath. Breathe in, expand. Exhale, let it go. Two more times like that. Breathe in through the belly, the back, the ribs, the heart, up through the crown of the head. And exhale it out. One more time, breathing in the deepest inhale of the day. Breathe in, 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 and exhale, let it go, deflate. Bringing hands to heart center. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. Inhale through the nose, breathing in that intention, fill up. Exhale, release anything you do not need here tonight. Breathe in, deep inhale. And exhale, allow the eyes to flutter open, the hands to melt down beside you. Really good. Now we're gonna move through some, some energy awakening movements. Um, and they're gonna be a bit more flowy, so no worries um, if they're not perfectly aligned. This does not need to be so structured. Just feel it more, um, feel into it with an open heart, open mind. So on the inhale, you're gonna reach up, come up onto your shins, reach up tall, lengthen through the side bodies, reach through the fingertips, press into the shins and the tops of the feet. And on an exhale, you're gonna swoop down and around and give yourself a hug. Good. Inhale to reach, grow tall, gaze can come up towards the ceiling. Exhale to come back down, turn in, tune in. Hug yourself here, maybe close your eyes for a moment. Inhale to reach up, lift up. Exhale, coming back down. Maybe turning the palms back down to the earth on the way down. Good. Inhale to reach, 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 reach. And exhale to lower. So good. Two more like this. Reach and expand. Lift, stretch. Exhale, coming back down. Turning and holding yourself closely. One more, breathe in deep, reach up, maybe even back bend a bit. Exhale, round the spine, hug yourself here. And then keeping this hug, you can gently use your fingers to massage out the backs of the shoulder blades, good. And if you wanna move your fingers down your torso and then back up again, Maybe they come to your shoulders, your neck, whatever feels good. 
then coming back to that hug. Rolling your head to one side and then the other. Maybe giving yourself a little bit bigger of a squeeze, a tighter embrace. Good. And then inhale, arms sweep back up. Exhale, we're going to twist to the right. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. Moving through a few more of these. Make them fluid. Make them flow. Keep the spine lifted and elevated. And the twist deep and satisfying. And when we twist, we are literally compressing our organs to wring out any of that toxic excess energy and blood cells. Making space for new nourishing blood to rush into that part of the body when we untwist. One more twist on each side. Good. So we're releasing here physically on a cellular level anything we do not need to move forward with this loving kindness meditation. Inhale, arms sweep back up high. Interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms towards the sky. Pressing up, lifting through the side body, lifting through the heart, melting the shoulders down the spine. Gently pressing the sit bones a little bit deeper into the earth or the prop beneath you. So it's this opposing action of pressing your sit bones downward while lifting your torso up. Gaze can come up and then moving from side to side again with this Free, fluid movement. No need to be perfect here. Good. And one more on each side. To the right, to the left. And arms sweep back down. One more hug. Starting our loving kindness meditation from this physical place of love. Feel your own embrace ripple through your body. Feel this deep connection within and then let it go. So you're welcome to stay here in this um, supported hero's position. If that's comfortable for you to meditate, I'm going to move to um, a cross-legged seat. And of course, if you, like I mentioned in the beginning, if you want to sit with your back up against a wall, the pillow, the couch, um, even if you want to lie down, whatever is most comfortable for you, um, as long as your head is not resting against something. Really nice. Maybe just take a few shoulder rolls here. Backward, forward, and then one more back. And allow the shoulders to melt down the spine. Coming to our easy seat. And typically um, I do offer both hand positions with the palms up or the palms down and of course as um, with anything that I offer here it is totally your choice but I do recommend for this practice the palms to be facing up so we can receive a bit more. So finding your easy seat with a long spine, eyes closed, moving towards this place of balance, of structure and softness. So structure and alignment of this posture in a tall spine, in a slightly engaged core to hold us up in this shape, and softness as we melt our shoulders down our back, Softness in the belly, so we can take a deep, full belly breath. Beginning to lengthen the neck long, tuck the chin slightly, so we're moving our earlobes away from our shoulders. The jaw is unhinged. The tip of the tongue finds its home behind the bottom teeth. eyelids 
hang heavy over the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is smooth and soft. Your lips can gently graze each other. And your breath moves in and out through the nose. Taking a moment here to feel your way into this shape, into this seat. Making any last minor adjustments to come to a place of complete comfort and relaxation. Taking a moment to tap into your breath, placing your focus on the breath, on the place where the air moves in and out of the nose. <coughs> and now moving that focus, that attention, that awareness to the heart space feeling an openness, feeling the heart expand on each inhale. Maybe you place a color, an aura around your heart space and each inhale, that color grows a little bit brighter, expands a little bit bigger. And each exhale, your heart space softens just a bit, opening it up to receiving all of the love, all of the kindness. Taking a moment to be open to receiving loving kindness, to tapping in to this universal power that's at the core of all of us love. Now beginning our loving kindness meditation, we're going to start by thinking of one person who we're really close to. Maybe it's a family member or a dear friend, someone who we love deeply. Thinking of that person, And now reciting this prayer, this intention in honor of them, to them, for them. May you be well, may you be happy, may you live with ease and peace. May you be well, may you be happy, May you live with ease and peace. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. Maybe thinking of that person with a soft smile on their face or a beautiful warmth surrounding their body. Taking a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Now thinking of an acquaintance, maybe a neighbor or a friendly face that you see behind the cash register at a grocery store. Someone you don't know well but you do know. Sending this loving kindness out for that person. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. May you be well. May you be happy. 
May you live with ease and peace. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. Taking a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Now this next one is a little bit more difficult, provides often a bit of resistance and that is completely normal. This is where this really does become a practice. So if some sensations of resistance or a little bit more intense emotions come up for you here, know that is normal, beautiful and part of this practice. So picking someone who you are having a difficult time with, someone that brings up maybe some negative emotions for you, someone you've experienced friction or currently are experiencing friction with. Moving all of that aside for a moment and sending this person loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. May you be well. May you be happy. May you live with ease and peace. Noting what does come up for you there. Sitting with that for a moment, recognizing any emotions, sensations, thoughts, or feelings that came up during that portion of this practice. Simply noting from the seat of the observer, not getting caught up in it, just recognizing this. And now moving on. Taking a deep inhale and a deep exhale, let it go. Moving on to yourself. This one is often difficult as well as we don't spend enough time with our own relationship, the relationship with ourselves. We don't spend enough time working on self-love and deep internal connection. We're programmed in today's society to move so quickly from A to B, to problem solve, to B line for the end destination, that we often don't sit in the middle, in that gray area, in the journey, and that's where we really be, are able to sit with ourselves. Those are the places where we foster and grow this deep self-love and self-realization. So placing your focus, your heart, your loving kindness on you. May I be well. May I be happy. May I live with ease and peace. May I be well. May I be happy. May I live with ease and peace. May I be well. May I be happy. May I live with ease and peace. Again, recognizing anything that came up for you there. Knowing that, as it's often said, you must fill your cup up first before it can pour over to others. Sometimes being selfish is the key ingredient of being selfless. Taking a deep inhale and a deep exhale 
Moving on to our final loving kindness prayer. This one with the intention of all beings. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings live with ease and peace. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings live with ease and peace. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings live with ease and peace. Recognizing what comes up for you here, especially in a time where we're going through a crisis or a global place of, of difficulty, of friction, of challenge. This one often resonates just a bit deeper, comes from a more authentic, more genuine place. And that could be just a little bit of a silver lining of this entire situation. Truly, from our core, putting aside differences, putting aside the day-to-day -day frustrations or arguments, and acting, moving, thinking, loving as one, tapping into this unity of all beings, wishing our global community to be well, happy, and free. Taking a deep breath in, a deep breath out. Placing hands in prayer in front of your heart, or maybe placing one palm over your heart space, and then your other hand over the first hand. Feeling this palm to heart connection, tapping into your heart beat into your deep, infinite source of love. Taking a moment to receive all of the love that comes back by sending out loving kindness, allowing an open heart and loving kindness to ripple through your body. Taking a moment to come back to your intention, to honor the intention you brought here with you to this practice. Taking a moment to honor the three people that you sent loving kindness to taking a moment to honor yourself, taking a moment to honor all beings. Being so grateful for this practice and grateful for the time that you carved out to sit with yourself. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thank you all. As always, um, if you have any recommendations, um, any suggestions, please let me know. And if you would like any of the articles, um, the sources from the information I mentioned at the beginning, please let me know. Um, also, I just want to extend my heart out to everyone here, um, of course, wishing you all loving kindness. Um, and additionally to that, just letting you know that I'm here. I'm here to listen, to talk as a resource. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you through this time, 
please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much. See you next time.